<coughs> Do I look all right? Perfect. Do I look better? Yeah. yeah. I say the truth. <laughs> when you're ready. I'll bug him with tenner. <laughs> ready? Yeah. <coughs> Is it going? Yeah, it's good. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, all right. So, one, two, three. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, mate. Nice to it's see a pleasure. you. No problem. But you know, it's this has been a long time coming. Pardon the pun. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Great start. So before <laughs> we start, I want to get this out of the way. I've, I've, I've done something special for you. I think you'll appreciate this. Don't worry, I'm not taking all my clothes off. <laughs> Go on. There we go, Tom. Come on. Cause it's a bit warm in here. Cause you've probably thought, what's he got this on for? A bit slow. Oh, sorry. I need some tips, Lee. Need your Velcro. Yeah. Like it. Did you ever work for us? Like? Mm, yeah, a yeah. few times, yeah, yeah. quite a lot. Yeah yeah, 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 big company. This is me homage yeah. to Larry Flint. You know what I mean? So anyway, we've got <laughs> That's Lee. That's a little more hustler as a snooker player for you, oh, though. Oh, probably, yeah. So yeah. we've got Lee and Shaw here today, and I think, obviously I've done a few podcasts already, I think this is going to be great because there's a lot of different sides to you. Obviously, a lot of people's going to recognise you yeah. for certain things. Yeah. But we're going to talk about that side of things. We're going to talk about what you're doing nowadays yeah. and stuff like that, and what you're trying to achieve in the yeah. in the future and stuff. So I mean, I think we need to start with a bit of juiciness first. So Fire away. Come on, tell us tell us some. Uh, I don't know, just random story about the industry. Oh, what you think that not many people know about, or what happened to you, or things, or. Do you know what I mean? Some, the, uh, some of the fun here, really. There's been absolutely a hell of a lot of things to talk about what's happening in the industry. Yeah. It depends where you want to start. Yeah. That's the that's the only thing. Um well we've had I mean I can So what went wrong? Yes. On set? Yeah, yeah, terribly wrong. Yeah. One of them. I, it probably grossed you out straight away. Oh, right. Before we've even started. Well that's fine, let's get on with it. Well basically we had the I've, big... I've had my dinner somewhere, <laughs> Yeah. That's good. Might put you off though even for yeah, you know, dinner later as well. Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah. What well, I have happened? nightmares. I did for four months. Oh, ah. Well, anyway, yeah. Uh, basically, um, yeah, we did a shoot. We hired a big massive garage out, and uh, big, how, how long ago was this? Oof, Ten years, twelve years ago. Okay. Big garage out, tank, the works. Yeah. It was me and a black guy yeah. working. I was seeing a girl. Yeah. In between, from Czech Republic, she was okay. very nice girl. Yeah. Stunning, stunning woman. Yeah. Anyway, it took about. Three hours, four hours, set everything up, get all the army gear on, the, you know, the um, army wagon, everything, and the girl, and that all day. Anyway, it started off, and all of a sudden, I was um, at the top half. Yeah. So was this like a d double three session? Mm, three yeah. something. Yeah, I was at the top half, the bottom half. Oh, yeah. Everything was fine. I was straight up, straight away. Yeah. And he was down there, doing his thing, licking away. Yeah. And all of a sudden, these fingers crawl up, right up to my face like that, and he put his fingers up my nose and I went oh, oh, what's that and he said stop 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 can't can't work with her I said what's wrong he said stinks terrible and I says well what do you mean so it's just it's, it's hor horrible so I've obviously put that out down there and she says what is the problem what is wrong I, I don't understand what is wrong so we put her to the side of it she didn't speak much and we said to the director the white guy said I can't work with her absolutely stinks vile like Grimsby like Grimsby fish market Really bad. Yeah. So he says, I, I can't do it. Yeah. So I says, well, what we're going to do? And he knows us very well, the director, and he says, well, we've got to carry on. So she went and got washed, started again, same again. Terrible, ter terrible smell. And all of a sudden, the funniest thing is, he says, I can't do it. You can't get hard on. Um, I've lost it. I thought, well, that, that's it. You don't know you know, what's wrong. Maybe it's just bacterial. She got something like that. So see, this is just what I know in truth, Jim, but this is a problem. People don't see all this. They don't see, see it at all. No. They see the finished thing mm. and all that. You know what I mean? Don't they, don't, they don't see the, um, you know, they see a 20-minute product. Yeah. And you could be doing it for four hours. Yeah, yeah. So what happened then is uh, we had to think of a way out to, uh, you know, stop the shoot and probably claim on the showrooms. Yeah. So I come up with a brainwave idea and I said, what about... Um, this guy, this former, went out last night, we had some fish, and um, he got ill, so he's sick. Right. So anyway, we'll call the doctor out, yeah. so the doctor will come, it's a Sunday, yeah, yeah. doctor will come and hopefully claim insurance yeah. because he's got food poisoning. Yeah. 
So anyway, there's not nothing wrong with him. So we both put his Oscar winning De Niro acting on. Yeah. And uh, he's like this and he's like, oh God, doctor come. And he said to me, let's have a look. He says, oh, you don't seem too bad. Looked at him, black guy. He says, can you open your mouth like that? And he says, oh, you're really bad. He says, I'm gonna have to give you an injection in your backside. And he hates needles, yeah. this black guy. He runs off, he has a test and stuff, yeah. runs off. So anyway, I'm trying to keep a straight face, like I'm poorly. He's trying to, he's looking shocked because he's got to have this needle in his backside. Yeah. <laughs> then I've never seen a, a black man go white. Yeah. You actually were in pure white. So anyway, they did it and that was it. And then we claimed on insurance yeah. and that, that was the end of the show. But it was so funny because the directors were laughing in the background yeah. because, and this, this doctor was like, what's, what, what, what's happening? Yeah. And we have to put the stuff going forms on. Yeah. So that was a bit of a shocker. Yeah, basically, it's, it's, it's a lot harder for a guy um, because when, when I was doing it 10 years ago, um, there was probably a handful of guys, probably four or five who could do the job. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm the, no. best, the best in the world or whatever, but I, I learned the hard way and take it, take it from there. But um, it, it, for a girl, it's, if you're on set for four hours, yeah. the guy's got to keep a hard on four hours. Yeah. And it's not just keeping a hard on. Sometimes you could put it in her, and then as soon as you get too excited, you want to come straight away. Yeah, yeah. So then if you come straight away, then you've got to, it's, it's, just, it's just an absolute, it's, it's really, really, really difficult. Because obviously the girl can put a bit of lube on, and I'm not being horrible, but she could, she had Quasimodo. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, but a guy, if there's no hard on, there's no show. No, no, no. And that's why a lot of producing directors banked on the good guys. I'm not saying we've all had bad days. Yeah. So, you know, so, so days. Was, were there times when, when, when you struggled and, 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 and like because of, I don't know, you weren't attracted to them or something like I that? Think, or, think, or were you just a perfect professional? <laughs> you know I mean? No, I mean, there were times I did struggle, but I, I could probably, you know, do the sex for two minutes and it goes down, yeah. do it two minutes, goes down, and it's a bit of a ball ache. Yeah, yeah. That is um, re really bad. It might be the girl because sometimes some Eastern European girls, if there's no uh, language barrier, yeah. and they just go and action, you say hello to them, how are you, next minute you having sex and then they could go you know the on, the on set went ah oh, ah oh, ah oh, and then all of a sudden cut yeah. it's done and they're like ah oh. did you, you try to what? did you try to then because uh, uh, you did it for what, like about 11 years weren't you yeah you know, 11 understand? years yeah did you try to get like a technique where you try and interact with him a little bit before uh, and to get a little bit of a bonding uh, absolutely so <clears throat> absolutely right what I tried to do is I tried to make the guy oh I'm working with you Lee. and I go oh, I'm working with you no problem I tried to make um, feel relaxed yeah, yeah. I wasn't one of these guys who grabbed the girl who said oh come here you do this you do this you do that you know mm -hmm. I, I mean I'm, I've had a few um you know, bring guys a bit heavy on the girls or yeah. stuff like that, and I tried to make it like a like a friend, like a mate. Yeah, yeah. Because it makes it because getting hard on, it's not. Oh, yeah. It's not the girl and everything. It, it's all in the mind. Mm. Anybody can do it. It's in the mind. If the mind's not there, then there's no show yeah. at all. So it's not it's not going to work if the yeah. mind's not there, basically. Um, and that, that's how it that's how it works in the industry. If your mind's not there, it's not going to work. But it does make it feel better. I've had girls who are a bit more curvier or, or bigger or somebody you're not really attracted to, but they're like, I'm working with you today. I'm yeah. really getting out. Yeah, so and, and it gives you, it makes it. We can yeah. have the attractive girl in the world yeah. and they're miserable yeah. and they've got no personality. And I know we're doing it for money, but as men, we're not machines. We're not robots. We need something to help. How did, how did things affect <clears throat> Right, let's talk about relationships offset. Mm. Not well. There's a few avenues. Mainly, obviously, your partner at the time. Yeah. And, and how did how did how did that affect things and stuff in the early days? I know later on yeah. in your career you worked that, that, with your partner. That's correct. You? Yeah. And a lot of people seem to be doing that now. So I can imagine when you first started, there weren't much as that going off, were there? Well, there one bad thing I was, was one partner, and it was was technically my fault. This but, is your uh, girlfriend, yeah, away at the she, time. She yeah. was not involved in porn. She didn't actually know I was doing it, right. because I was doing fashion modelling and stuff. Right. And then the f well, it wasn't funny, but no. it was it was a bit, bit of a nightmare really. Basically, um, the modelling dried up a bit because they wanted me to go to America. Americans like me more than, yeah. than the English because the round face, white teeth, body, yeah. and all this. Like, yeah. Americans liked it, so the uh, modelling dried up. So then uh, what I did is then I um, obviously went into the adult porn scene. Mm -hmm. She didn't know. Okay. And what happened was her and her mum went to the local market and uh, looking for DVDs. And you want DVD? A new, a, new, a new pops up, but you get four scenes for 
five nine to nine yeah. was me in every scene. Jeez. And so she saw that oh, and um so I it was this and I tried I tried to tried to make it out had a twin brother but that didn't really work. <laughs> And <laughs> so, but yeah, but I thought, how cheap, you know, local market, yeah, yeah. Indian guy, five nine to nine. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that finished that relationship off. Yeah. But um, I didn't really, it was just because the money was drying up. I wanted the money, we had nice holidays. It was a bad thing what I did, but at the end of the day, that's life and that's what happened. I, if I'd have told her and I said we were doing that, she wouldn't have had it, had it anyway, so. So, I mean, <laughs> obviously, industry, so what, what? Early two thousands, would you st- would you say started? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, I mean, we'll talk <clears> about that in a bit. But we obviously you did. Uh, you were cr- successful cricket player. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I played did, for Derbyshire yeah. at seventeen. Yeah, you did the they did the modelling. You yeah, you go boss. Yeah, you go boss and yeah. Marnie. Yeah. Um, lots of TV stuff yeah. and TV extras. So that were going well, and then that did that just come to a sort of end? yeah. What happened is oh god, I won Mister Great Britain. Yeah, um, like um, like Miss looks like a Miss Will yeah. thing, but Mister yeah. Great Britain. I won that, and he did a lot of TV stuff. Yeah. It just dried up. It was very difficult in the London market. They wanted these skinny guys different type of looks to me yeah, but yeah. in America they loved me a yeah. lot in America yeah. but I also but before the porn I went into the Dream Boys oh, and yeah, I was stripping in the Dream that, Boys for yeah. um, about four years yeah, but that was an experience that was absolute brilliant laughs I've yeah. never laughed and had so much good time in all my life I mean first show when I auditioned for there were 3,000 auditioned they only wanted four guys and I ended up getting the uh, job yeah. I was absolutely shitting it yeah, yeah. absolutely shit in it but then after a while because I could dance and stuff yeah. it was a lot easier so what was audition like for Dream Boys in? What audition it was in I can't remember it was in London and um, a guy called Barry Backer he used to be the uh, um, manager he was a bit like him of Austin Powers <laughs> and, he, and he had a little cat like that, <laughs> yeah. stroke yeah, and say so these are all my boys yeah, you know yeah. And yeah, all this. yeah he was one of them but he was a great guy yeah. and it was big time then I mean, yeah. nowadays it's not as popular as it used to be. No. And then obviously oh, yeah. I did the Dream Boys, and then obviously I went into uh, somebody asked me to do Karma Sutra books. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's what set it off. It was nothing sexual. Well, there were Lover's Guide. Or yeah, 101 sex positions yeah. I had to do. Right. I've, I've never even thought there was any like that. No, no. Painful. I think there's about six, seven good ones in a restaurant. Yeah, uh, the restaurant, you, I don't you, know what it was. I don't know. You just try it once, don't you? Yeah, yeah, anyway, really. yeah, so I did that, and then all of a sudden, some said, Do you want to go into more, you know, films and stills? Yeah, so I did the stills oh. for a while. So, the, was this an agent then, or something like that suggested it? Uh, no, it was a, a, a photographer who, who, when I did the Karma Sutra, he said, Well, he's shooting adult stuff, but it's all stills, but hard on stills, but they're not actually no penetration, right? So, I did that for three or four years, which, which, when there was, should we be doing something to you or doing the, you know, yeah. touching you, sucking your hand or whatever. It were easy. Yeah, yeah. But when you had to do it yourself, it, it was, you know, pretty hard work. Yeah. But that made me good in, in when I moved on to more of the yeah. harder stuff. Yeah, so, <clears throat> so basically somebody suggested it and then, I don't know, did you have to do an audition? What's, think, think back in there um, for your first, before your first one. Uh, what, how did they go about that? I'm yeah, it, that. it was, it was... Yeah, I say the, the auditions and stuff, it kind of carried on from the Karma Sutra and then I tried it and then I tried it with that kind of amateur photographer. Yeah. And then he sold it to all the magazines, you know, the sex magazines, what yeah. used to have them. There's none of them anymore, it's no, all no. disappeared now. Oh, but yeah. when you was a kid at school yeah. and everybody used to look at the poor mags and stuff. Yeah. So they, they were big time then and, yeah. and, and doing all that then. Um, but then it just, yeah, it just formulated from that into that. Um, I didn't really know, but one of my specialities is I can come five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> The next, and so if, if there's a guy and a girl, it's like what's that? Five, four, three, yeah, two, two one. <laughs> and I'm waiting for him. Yeah. I, I can just go. It can go. I can go five, four, three, two, one, boom, and I can come in within one to two seconds at the same time. So obviously, if you're coming over a face yeah. or something like Jeez. that, then he, as soon as he's come, I'm one second behind. Okay. And that was one of me. They used to nickname me Old Pipe Henshaw. <laughs> that was my nickname. Right. I was just cut on that one. Day when I started, we it was so funny. We had to get hard on yourself. Though yeah. the girls there, yeah, and you yeah. you wanking yourselves, and you get hard, and then she's actually got to then hold it, and then obviously your dick starts to go down, down, down. She doesn't suck it. She doesn't wank it. She doesn't touch it. That's it. Then you go back and do it again. Yeah. yeah. When I first started, it was so funny in Amsterdam. <laughs> My friend, who was a very good, well-known porn yeah. guy as well, yeah. and um, he was there. 
and um, it was just stills so you hold it and then it goes down and it goes down and it stands like that I stood back and I was strapping like a monster I see we are still as well you just stop and then you can readjust yeah I was, I was still ah. thinking in it then it goes down ah. and then again goes down, it goes down and then four hours like that yeah. and sweating and yeah. whereas the other guy who were just touching it and it was just there because it's professional and I yeah. just started yeah. I didn't know what I was doing yeah. I was like sweating I, I would uh, friction at no point I was surprised it didn't set on fire yeah well ah. again <laughs> but, but that's how it first started off for me doing porn and the thing is now when you went to fluffers you don't need I didn't need any um, fluffers or anything like that because I could stand back and I could do it myself because I started the hard way. Shall we just explain what a fluffer is to somebody who's not thinking? What, what are the animals about? A fluffer is, you've got the two performers, you've got the male star and the female star, and basically they hire another a, another girl, yeah, to, um, if you can't get a hard on, yeah. they cut the scene, you go to the side a bit, and she gives a full ah. job. Yeah, or, or whatever, whatever, to, or whatever to get him going to get back in the scene. Have they, it sounds stupid. Have they ever been known a female fluffer had to have a fluffer? It's, I know, maybe. I know, do you know what I just thought about? Yeah, when I, that's yeah. why I said. Um, yeah. That's why I said that. That's what I said. Mean, I've always thought you know, well, Yeah, but you, uh, to be honest with you, a girl can just use a bit of lube and yeah. that's it. I mean, we know. talked about this, didn't we? You did, yeah. We said, you were telling me, you explained to me what you said. You just told me something quite interesting. The famous porn star Rocco. It's Friday, yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm just drinking a bit of this water here that it's got a brand in this side, so I don't want to turn it around, but hopefully when they pay us some money, I'll turn it around. What? But Lee's just said, what yeah. did you say? Well, he's got his own water yeah. shaped as the penis. penis and it, yeah. his actual penis. Yeah. Yeah. Moulded. Yeah. To Brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's clever. So they drink it. So why didn't Horse Pie Penson? Penson? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had that before. Oh, right. yeah. well, it's yeah. Yeah. But they were foreign. So, people. Right. so well, obviously, I'm going to talk about all sorts in here, right? This is this is all me. Yes. Right. So Lee has got was basically ran this set. What what year would it kill be? Oh God! Have a look. I know. Have a look. Have a look. Uh, it's like Jamie off uh, Joe Rogan. Have, Have a look. What year it were? Anyway, come on, let's talk. So. How did you get approached for this then? It was from model agency. Basically, the model agency wanted some guys for the set. As um, when he walks into the room, obviously there was a big orgy. Yeah. And it was like a mask parade, you yeah, know, orgy it. type thing. Yeah, have you seen yeah. Them, the, the famous Cubet who did uh, yeah. Clockwork oh, Orange and stuff. Um, I'm a big fan. I man. know, but one part I did get, and um, which is a shame, yeah. because they actually cut yeah, the part because cut. he cut Tell off. us this story, because this yeah, is a great Yeah, it's story. absolutely brilliant. Basically, I was playing like a, a I was a bit more muscular then, yeah, I was yeah. playing the security guard, and I had to throw Tom Cruise out the building. Yeah, yeah. And my only line was, she wouldn't be here, we must leave immediately. Yeah, yeah. So were you playing like a doorman? Yeah. Oh, okay. And um, when I say she wouldn't be here, must leave immediately, he's What year something. are we on? Ninety-nine. God, yeah. don't time fly. Yeah, yeah. So that's all I had to say to him. And then grab him by the neck, yeah. drag him a few yards, and throw his stunt double yeah, yeah. downstairs. Right, okay. And that was it. Yeah. Was there three weeks, yeah. and I had my tuxedo on, yeah, yeah. and I couldn't sit down no. for two weeks. No. And this gay guy says, "You're not allowed to sit down because yeah. you're creasing your suit." And and I said, "Well, I've, I've been here two weeks." Is he in wardrobe? Yeah. Yeah. And I've been here two weeks. I want to sit down. So anyway, two weeks later, I sat down, five minutes, says, come out of the on set, please. Yeah. So I thought, great. So anyway, Tom Cruise yeah. was there. I had a little cross on the carpet, so I had yeah, to walk up to the carpet, market. and I yeah. saw him. Well, you know, he's a big star, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, the first time when he should be here, he must leave immediately, yeah. that was it. I walked up to Tom, yeah. and I probably just said hello to him, that's it. And it was about 40 people in there. And they went, action. And I went to say my line, and that's all I had to say. And it was like somebody got my brain and just threw it away. And Tom looks at me and, and, I, and I sort of say the line and he goes, and I went, a bit like Mr. Bean, like. <laughs> what? <laughs> and you're just thinking, fuck and you know, thinking, fuck you know, it's Tom Cruise. All I have to say is, shouldn't it be here, must be immediately. And I'm like, Mr. Bean, going, <laughs> like this. And then he looks at me and goes, like, so we're cut. And I thought, oh, that's a good start. Oh, right? to cook, Kubrick. Yeah, good start from career, that is. Got him to say one line. Yeah. So then, take two, snap, went in again. Got everything right, dead confident, went up to Tom Cruise, and then he looks at me and he starts going, you know the mouth, a bit Elvis, isn't it? Yeah. 
Right, someone's laughing. Yeah, yeah. And he started, and that was it. Yeah, I was crying, yeah. I physically laughing. He said, cut. So you two guys go and, go and have a coffee and, you know, so go and have a chat. Cube, yeah, Cubit said that. Yeah. Cut, go and have a coffee, you guys. So me and Tom yeah. sat there yeah. in his amazing little place. With a trailer. Yeah, trailer yeah. Having a coffee. Yeah. And I forgot who it was and I was having a great time. So what did you talk about? I was going to invite him around Chesterfield for a beer. <laughs> Come yeah. Do you know when uh, Nicole want to come round? Yeah, I just want to come round. Chess what, Vegas. What I'm interested in, because there's a lot. I don't know if you know a lot of stuff that well, obviously you were on set, but there's mm. a lot of conspiracy that comes off of the film because mm. it was Kubrick's last film. Yeah. And a lot of people think there's mysterious shit with his death and all this crap and uh, the last cut he never saw mm. and all on those type of stuff. So. I mean, what did you get in a vibe? I mean, I'm not saying you've been on a lot of sets and things, but did, were everything? Did you think everything seemed normal or what? Or? It was a long, long hours, long like I said, three weeks just to do with one little scene. You yeah, know what I mean? well, that's it, what he's famous for. What happened was he had to. Um, it, I heard on the grapevine yeah. that there were so many million put into it, obviously, yeah, yeah. and he was that slow. Yeah. And doing his takes, yeah. the producer I can't afford any more yeah, more yeah. money. Basically, we're running out, so Cubit put his own money in mm. because he knew this would be a good hit. He's, he, he were averaging <laughs> fifteen takes on on, on a, a lot of stuff, and that were that only averaging yeah, so forty many, takes. Oh, yeah. Do you mean that? Yeah. Um, this was just one. It this was just horrendous. One. Yeah. yeah. Just for like just having a little curtain undone. I mean, yeah. he's perfectionist. Yeah. Which which, which, which which I think is fantastic. Yeah. You know, it's always good. But sometimes it's like you know when it's. It's like if I do a dance routine and you keep doing dancing, 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 yeah. and you get on stage, you forget it because you've over practiced. Yeah. And it was a bit like me with my lines. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I only had one line, but because I said it that many times yeah. and 40 takes, yeah. you kind of forget what you're is, saying. Is, is, so you think it's just it were, it were crows, basically? I think so, but after a while you forget who he is because yeah. I mean everybody's the same. But I mean when you're first looking at Tom and it's like, you know, it's not every day you no. get to. What about to, to did you meet? Nicole. No, I didn't actually. So you no, didn't she went on set. No, she went on reckon they have got a weird thing going off between them two? Yeah, because the rumours added yeah. that when he when he directed the bedroom scene, was yeah, to yeah, view, he that's basically correct. had to direct them out to be intimate. And yeah. you think a couple that's been together a long time know what to do, yeah, they? yeah, would do. Would. And that's what they said. It were a bit weird yeah, yeah. that Kubik had to get really deep into yeah. how how you hold her and all this. And yeah, you think that strange. should be natural. Should be so natural. that makes you wonder if why it were just the Scientology thing that she were picked maybe to, for for him to marry her. But you know, you know everybody I mean? was saying like Tom was you know sometimes as strange as this but when he was on set he was like let's go you ready Stanley let's go yeah. let's go he was yeah. the nicest guy in the world no. I mean it, it was quite bubbly it's all yeah. go you know and he was like, oh they said that he's a uh, model he does his own stunts as well he's yeah, yeah. his own um, he's stunts but you know most of them he does yeah. he's quite Risky so so in this then so that got cut so what it's a then, shame it got cut yeah. but then <laughs> it was a big shame I'll still in the credits yeah, the yeah. names and the credits and stuff but the thing is yeah it was a shame because they even paid a guy I think they paid him 30 grand and because uh, Stanley cut so many times yeah. he's not even in it either no, no, but there was another scene actually there was <laughs> there was about I don't know is a it lot the orgy scene it. yeah there was an orgy scene but they were saying because when I first heard about you, I thought, I bet you were Lee was one of them in the mass in the OGC. Do you know the I did that when, as well, the, yeah, yeah, the track, you know the tracking shot when it goes with Cruise because yeah. he's famous for steady cam shot, yeah. steady cam shot behind Tom Cruise. And he's walking through Mansion, yeah. and there's all the doors are open, he's wind through, and yeah. there's all it's all happening in it. Yeah. I automatically, when I heard about you, I thought, I bet Lee were one in the yeah, yeah, actual yeah. doing one of the sex acts. I, I, I was, I was in. They said once, could, could you dance with another guy? Right. And I says, well, yeah, what's the, what was it? And when we turned around in the tuxedo, you got your ass out, yeah, cut yeah. out. Like, so, what, like chaps? Ch yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. To me, it sounds like I'm an expert on this. You time, probably wear them all the time. <laughs> yeah. I wear them at home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I love, I'm talking to my girlfriend. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she laughing. Yeah. She might be, hopefully. <laughs> she said, that's not me, that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I had to wear that and I had to, I had to dance to the, to the song, I only have eyes for you. Yeah. And I had to dance. and then, But they said, can anybody want to do this? Did they play that on the set then? But there were five guys in the room and nobody wanted to do it. And so the gay guy says, can we all look at your arse? Everybody's arses. Yeah. So I dropped my trousers, show me arse. Yeah. And he said, that's lovely. So I said, thank you very much. I'm glad you like that that class. You've got you've, Lee. <laughs> You've got an Hollywood bum. Hollywood bum. It was famous for about four seconds yeah, yeah. in a tuxedo when we bum out. Okay. And, and then, yeah, so I did that. But I got an extra 500 quid for that. Yeah, yeah. All I had to do was dance with So how much did you, what, what type of money were talking then, what they offered you for? About 14 grand for three weeks. 
It's not bad, is it? No, it's good. You know what I mean? Like, you see, we were sat around, weren't you, most of it? I was sat around for three weeks. <laughs> I had square arms. I mean, what a job. <laughs> 14 grand that I ran. It was, yeah, but I wanted to do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it was shot at High Clay Castle in Basingstoke. It was the guy. Oh, is that what, yeah, I'm going to ask you where it was. It was disco- uh, discovered by, you know, Tutankhamen. Carmen. Yeah, yeah. Um, he had, he had uh, like a big dungeon thing downstairs. And, yeah. and it was amazing. Tutankhamen Carmen slippers, Tutankhamen. Yeah. Carmen. It was fascinating. I was yeah, a big yeah. thick glass. So yeah, yeah. In there. You know, but it was it was very it's very a right building into that amazing place. Place. Yeah. amazing. Place. I mean, it, to be honest, it's, it's like a chat. A lot of people yeah. don't like the film, but I tell you what, it's in my top fifteen because yeah. I love the music. Yeah, that scene yeah. when some it, people don't like it, but but it's Quebec. You know, Clockwork yeah. Orange is very um, yeah. It's different, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I love it. It's different. I just love the, the, the mysterious because a lot of people think that he was involved all in all that Kubrick. Mm. So he were like putting a message out mm. there to say, Well, this is what the yeah. rich and famous do yeah. behind closed doors. Yeah. I mean Which is probably right. right. Yeah. I mean so there were a lot of things we were saying about that were going off then or he were, he were not saying you were involved but he knew about all this, mm. so that's why it were in the script, that scene, there were mm. lots of that. So in your, I mean, you told me little bits and bobs. So I remember you telling me something about to do with like, because obviously, all right, we're going back to porn again. Yeah. But um, how many times did people get in touch with you to do extracurricular activities away from porn, but not on camera to do, I don't know, people pay you money. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. I I think because obviously you've been famous in the porn industry, yeah. And um, basically, you're you're everywhere. Even in swingers clubs, I was all over the tele- television. Yeah. And, and then that's what I didn't go to swing clubs. But they yeah. uh, were there. But there is a lot of um, husbands or boyfriends like to see the wife yeah. get shagged by a porn star. Okay. So they sit back and watch. Yeah, yeah. So that's happened quite. Which I think is absolutely ah. fucking bizarre. To be honest, do you know? I, do you know what you? I think most people would, but I don't know why. I think I don't know what it is. It, I, yeah, like yeah, that's like you say. You find it bizarre, and 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 I did, and sometimes I felt so low on. If I'm doing it, is the guy going to get jealous? And I'm stark naked mm. doing it. It's going to hit me on top of head with a hammer. Yeah, exactly. So if yeah. this did happen, did you do this? Just you turn up. Give turn an example. Up, you, well, you turn up. They say hi. How are you? Yeah, I might have a drink in the bar after, and then he sits back and watches, or he might film it on his. Um, yeah mobile phone or something yeah. or a camcorder or yeah, something yeah. like that yeah. um, and then they just pay you to do the business and that's it and it, they, they love it but like you said because it's bizarre sometimes I don't I couldn't get into the heads maybe was, it's a fantasy thing of them creating their own movie were you in it it is it was filmed because I didn't know you. they filmed it I thought yeah. we were talking some to some are me. private some are you know but if they film it's on their film I don't yeah. film it and because yeah. I just keep it you know quiet yeah yeah but, exactly but I think I think what it is is it's I don't know I couldn't get into that it's like I say swingers you know people yeah. do swinging yeah, yeah. I think if you swing in front of people and you're doing it and they know say you're with your partner you're doing swinging and you see each other and you know you're both doing it yeah. you're not exactly doing it behind somebody's back yeah, you're yeah. not being unfaithful because the other partner knows yeah, yeah, they're there, and right? I know a lot of swinging people who are, have had 20 year relationships because they do that and they're happy and comfortable yeah. because at the end of the day it's just sex to them and fun because yeah. there's difference between porn sex and difference between making love sex yeah, yeah. in, a, in, oh, in yeah. private with your girlfriend people think all these people who do porn and they're watching porn they're really enjoying themselves yeah. I'd say 70% they're not no no I mean, to me, well, people don't see that. Yeah, I mean, it must be, it must, it must be hard. I mean, it's like that. So I've talked to people about me talking to you, and I, and I say, and it always comes up this one, and I say this, and, and people go, "Oh, right, yeah, they thought that." Mm. Uh, let's think an average week. You've been working all week on set. Yeah. Gets to Friday, like a lot of people get to two o'clock Friday afternoon. They've had a gorilla. They're looking at watch, thinking, "Well, I'm finishing two hours," mm. and they start tossing it off at work. Yeah, they don't put in as much plaster as they were. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, they're working for the self <coughs> to do, but let's say they're working. I don't know a job where they can do a little bit of skiving. Mm. They start hiding in, in warehouse. Mm. Start, you know what I mean? Yeah. But obviously, you Friday afternoon, you know, you, you, this is last shoot of the week. Yeah. And you got on set, and you've met whoever you're doing the same way yeah. and you're not attracted or um, and you're in that mood you've had a long week and you're like ah. you know, how do you deal with something like that 
Well, you feel. Or are you starting to look at your watch? No, no. But you really. can't. You can't get out of it, though, can you? Because you're on camera. No, you can't. And I think what it is is a lot of. of I, I'm going to say this. A lot of film producers out there, if they've not been a performer, they yeah. don't know. Yeah. How it is and how hard it is for a guy. Yeah. Now, a good, uh, an ex-performer producer, yeah. will know. Yeah. Like I'm, I tell you what I'm into. Yeah. I'm into bare legs, high heels, and feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah? and yeah. I like that. Yeah. Now, if a girl's got boots on, yeah, yeah. my power's not as good. <laughs> if a girl's got stockings, it's on, like my super mummy crib tonight. It is. Fucking ah. take boot, take that, put boots on. He's put, done. Put, that's it. I'm dead man down. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, Wait, what age did you find out that you were into? To that, I don't know. I know, but I mean, but you know I'm what? deep here. Like, talk about serial killers and stuff. They had things when they were young that they were into. That they no, I'm not, I'm not a serial killer. I know you're not a serial thing. killer. <laughs> <laughs> you might be. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, like, like they like started things happening in the childhood and stuff. And yeah, they do like, say that. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand no. why. I just, no. I think majority of men. They might not admit it. Yeah, yeah. They either like stockings, the older generation like stockings, yeah. but sometimes the newer generation like stockings because they don't wear them anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the funny fashion ones with the same up the yeah. backs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But me, I just like strappy shoes or court shoes, bare feet, in shoes, legs, boom, I'm in. See, see the, it's interesting this, what we're talking about, because me, personally, what? like things have changed now, then I was obviously in the 80s and stuff, I yeah. like a bit more air down there on a woman. Ah, for a lot, right. for a bit. So, and then I got into that sort of era where yeah. it were all whoosh, gone, and I was like, "So oh, you right. like David Crockett's hat down there?" <laughs> not as much as that. <laughs> not as much that. But does what I'm saying. So, so like, that's what I'm saying. So I can imagine that you get through that, but it's like fashion, isn't it? Because eventually, <laughs> fashion. What well, you wear it all down? Yeah, it's yeah. gonna come back. Just like it's fashion now, with young girls or whatever. It women, does. It they does. take a lot yeah. off. I mean, Jesus, I can remember my mum, she's not going to like this, she's this pop kid, having hairy armpits. And she's not German? No. Oh. So that's what I'm about. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, it's how things <laughs> change. So like you said, I mean, I look at I look at Paul myself now and I just think it's getting out of hand. They're mm. running out of ideas, so it's getting no, more, ideas. more actual. Yeah. I mean, yeah. let's talk about what, I mean, what have you been asked to do in porn? And you thought, <clears> no, I'm, no, 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 I'm not doing that. Were there a limit? Uh, the, 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 there's obviously a, obviously I'm a straight guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm you glad know, you told me that. Yeah, I'm in quite I, close. I know, that, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but yeah, I'm a, I'm a I'm a straight guy. But the thing is, I've got a massive gay follower. I thought I was going to say dick then. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucking off scene. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> People used to come up to me and they used to say, because you don't know what to say. They say, "Have you got a big dick?" Yeah. And then you can't just go, "Yeah, yeah, yeah cool." You can't, yeah, break. Yeah. Just watch the video. So, no, I don't say that. I say it's as big as a five-year-old. They go, really? Yeah. I say, not like that, like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, then they don't know what to say then, do they? They don't make it look together then, does it? No. no. So yeah, we're, we're, anyway. think, no, we're, talking, <laughs> about, we're talking about things about um, what you want to do or you were asked to do. Yeah. But um, obviously, you. I mean, how, how long have you been out of industry now? 10 years, 12 right. years So now, it's yeah, changed 10, a lot. Oh, it's changed massively. So I mean, you look at stuff now. So like, let's go back 12 years. Yeah. When you come to end, were this stuff that somebody said, oh, now nah, then Lee. We're going to make this film and we want you to... I don't know. I don't know. I, I could say all sorts, but I'm not, I'd get myself yeah. in trouble if I said... It's, well, it's, it's, it's not changed, but I think um, when I was... You know, when I, when I first started, it was more romantic, more playboy, more you have your Ferraris and Lamborghinis and the music playing and yeah. the caressing and touching. A little bit more story, yeah, right? Yeah, and storyline, which is boring. Did, but I mean, everybody But did you like it. doing that? Hated though? it. What, in, when you were filming? That's a good point, because yeah. there, were, there was one thing, you'd, I went away, I've been Caribbean and stuff, shooting out there, and we had scripts. Yeah. yeah. Now, I'm a bit like Tom. Tom Cruise. Well, not quite like Tom Cruise. <laughs> no, you're a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on a bat down there yeah. on a bat in height. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tom, it's, if you're so watching. Right. Yeah. Liable, liable. Well, he did have turn-ups on his underpants. Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, bands for mother care. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So where was I? I forgot now. We're on about, <laughs> we're on about what you would have done or what you, what you were offered to do. Um, like how things have changed with, like... Yeah, I mean, like I say, th things have changed. It used to be more romantic. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We're and then it about, went, no, we were on about the stories. The, the stories, the, oh, the yeah. The acting side oh, of yeah. things. Yeah, that was it, that was it. Basically, I used to get a script, but yeah. I was like Tom, basically. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, I like to have a dictaphone. Yeah, 
yeah. Because I, I am rubbish at reading. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I read, if you give me a sentence and yeah. I'm reading it, I'm rubbish. Yeah, yeah. But if you say, Lee, go to the shop for a loaf of bread, blah, 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 I remember it. Yeah. And I remember it well. So a lot of people do that, yeah. use a dictaphone today. But the thing is, what happened is, some directors, because they didn't know about former, they gave you a script like this. Yeah, yeah. So you're reading the script, and the next minute, the girl's on to you. How and it's like, hold on. Yeah, exactly. My mind's on the yeah, script, my yeah. mind's on the yeah. So what I used to say yeah. to him, yeah. I used to say, after the, we've spoke, we've done yeah. the script, yeah. stop, yeah. come back into, and get yeah. into sex mode. You've been in industry when you were in the industry. Yeah. How, how long have you been retired? Uh, about, about 12 years, I'd say. 10, 12, 12 yeah. years. Like so life's changed. Life goes quick. Life's changed since then. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <coughs> well, I mean, you told me a story about... You started telling me, I said, no, 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 don't tell me too much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, tell yeah. me that story. You said, you've got this amazing story. Yeah. Let's get right into me. Yeah. yeah. I think it's someone told me some somebody kicking off or something yeah 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 well, I, I went to Dominican Republic to do some um, shooting out there yeah yeah and um, how long ago this oh god now you're talking probably like you say 12 years ago something like that and um, there was me and a few guys and obviously we were all doing scenes on different days yeah yeah and there was uh, Czech girls or Hungarian girls I yeah. actually was yeah. so anyway um, I did a scene with one of them yeah and it went brilliantly but you know some people can actually get into you more than just work yeah they kind of oh God, let's just say it fancier yeah. Yeah, yeah. attracted to you Which, yeah. um you know would like his boyfriend yeah yeah whatever yeah, yeah. you know so did you get a lot of that yeah it did yeah quite a bit so obviously yeah. a lot of male adult stars away from camera they was in more into men would you say uh more in uh, they, they would, they, well, what happened on the scene, we'll back to the scene, what happened yeah. on the scene yeah. is, um, yeah, I went one girl, yeah. brilliant, went really well, like I said, yeah. she, she like that. Yeah. Then uh, I had a day off, yeah. and um, and I worked with another girl the next day. Yeah. So then the next day, I had, another, I, had a, I had a day off that day, and I went to the beach with one of the girls. Mm. So I went to the beach with one of the girls, nothing in it, just mm. went to the beach, yeah. chilling, you know, as you do, and yeah. bits of women and stuff like that. Yeah. Came back. And I said to the other porn girl, what's wrong? She says, nothing. I said, what's wrong? Very, very terrible. <laughs> nothing. And Feel says, neglected. And yeah, and I says, what's wrong? What's wrong? She wants to be very green. She says, maybe I get jealous because you went to the beach with Monica. And I went, well, yeah, I said, you know, I've only went to the beach. I didn't know. No. You, you didn't I, see no size. Yeah, they just probably like your personality and because a lot to do with it is, you know, but it's, it can be the best looking guy. And you not worked with at this point? I've worked both of them. Right, okay. Right? Yeah. So then one got jealous of the other. Yeah, yeah. So on the next minute, I said, oh, God, no, I just went to the beach. And I, oh, right. And she got a really bad face on. Yeah, so yeah. I thought, oh, this is terrible. Yeah. Then, a few hours later, they were doing a girl girl scene together. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I was just over near the pool. I heard a, you know, you're pitching, screaming, punching, banging, air going, lock going, everything going. I thought, what's going off here? So anyway, half of the air were missing on one of them. One had a black eye out here like this. And director goes, what is it? And then he says, you, Lee. I says, what do you mean, me? <laughs> said, I'm not fuck off. He says, I ain't done nothing. She says, oh, one of them likes you and they got jealous of each other. They've had a massive fight over you. Huh? He said, I've been in the industry for 20 years as director. I've never known that. A two girls, porn girls, having a fight over a porn star. I mean, she got obviously, and she couldn't shoot for the next for next week because we got eye up. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. So when obviously when you came into industry, what, what early two thousands? Yeah, I'd say. I so. mean, I couldn't tell you exactly when day when Viagra got really big. Oh yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was probably underground before really it became exactly big. But that started. how did you see? In your experience, you obviously saw that probably come into mm. the industry. Mm. Were people using it straight away when you got into the industry, or did you see like a? Uh, uh, slowly that coming in more and people were yeah. like on, on drugs or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when it first started, obviously there were no Viagras or anything. Yeah. When I first started, yeah, yeah, there were no yeah, Viagras. So. And to be honest with you, when you call yourself a porn star, yeah. you're a porn star if you don't need medication, you don't need things to help you. Yeah, yeah. Because that's you. Yeah. That's you. You're a, you're a, you know, you know, I can go back to stars like the old one with the moustache on Jeremy. I yeah, mentioned Jeremy. her name. Yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he started from the beginning and he was brilliant at what I did yeah, yeah. and there were no Viagras no nothing oh, to help yeah, then yeah. Um, when I first started it was the same yeah, yeah. there were no Viagras no. or anything like that yeah. and then towards the, the middle they, they started introducing this blue tablet obviously 
And I thought, oh, what's it? What's this like? So anyway, you could take half, you could take full. It depends what milligram you want. Yeah. Took that, and boy, yeah, it works. Yeah. It works very well. Yeah. So if you've got a hard on for and it's there and you're standing, no yeah. one's touching it, yeah. it could last another extra yeah. minute yeah, yeah. without touching it. Yeah, yeah. So don't keep going down, yeah. up, down, up, down. You yeah. have to rely on things. Yeah. It just stays there. Yeah. Um, do you think with Viagra, I've never used Viagra. Yeah. Uh, do you think also, right, we're talking about the erection, I, can, I get that. Yeah. Would you think if you ejaculated yeah. that it helps with you to then become hard straight away because obviously naturally if you ejaculate you tend to get you a little need a break, less yeah, yeah a break, break yeah, and, you're not, and, and not, not you think that helped mm. that it, it does but some guys it didn't bother me but yeah. some guys when they take Viagra they find it hard to come yeah alright okay right. I mean there were once on one scene yeah. I'd come and done my job <laughs> and, I, and I said I've got a train to catch I've got to go on yeah, yeah. so and they said well we'll let him we'll cut you out Lee we've yeah. done your bit yeah. we're waiting for his cum shot yeah, yeah. I guess on the, on the train Two hours later, front director, everything done, says, no, we're still here waiting for his cum shot. <laughs> so I just said, Jesus, he, he, he looks like Tom Hanks in Castaway. No, he, didn't, he, he needed a shave before, yeah. you know what I mean? Know, grown a beard now, it's took that long. Yeah. And, but that's what happens. And when you take something like that, sometimes it doesn't bother me, but sometimes it does. But people think if you take the pill, it automatically works. Yeah, yeah. I've took them. Yeah. And I, something's not been attracted to the girl, or something's gone wrong, or she's not giving you any nice feedback. And you can take 10 Viagra's and you'll not a funny get story about Viagra when it first came in, uh, we used to go out downtown and all this shit. Anyway, my hand made it. He got it teed up with his girl. Mm. It were on, it were on. Mm. So the daft twat, right, took a Viagra about, well, I don't know, half an hour. This was nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. half an hour before she turned up. Yeah. She was turning up. Anyway, cut a long story short, she didn't turn up and he'd already dropped Viagra while we were clubbing, right? So, <laughs> we goes back to our, our sharing house with him at the time. Anyway, he says, <laughs> fuck, you know, he says, Dan needs to fuck <laughs> off. I said, what? And he says, well, anyway, basically, I, I went to sleep and I don't know what the fuck he did, but basically, he was on his own. And he says, I'll tell you what, he says, it was horrendous. He says, I needed to break it up, bath, to put it out. Not he says, I couldn't, I couldn't, and I was, I've never done it like that. And I just think, I mean, <laughs> What happens if you take taking invite? I mean, can I imagine some idiots take loads of stuff to do that on, on set, but then yeah. how, how do you come down from that? The thing is about it, it does affect a lot of people. It makes your face really Yeah, bad. yeah, and all that. You yeah. look like a beetroot. Yeah. And then a massive headache. And yeah. it, it feels like, like, you know, you've got a hangover. Yeah. Red eyes, big yeah. red head. I mean, I've, I've seen guys and it's gone from red all the way down here, and you yeah. know, they took it. Yeah. But if it helps, yeah. it don't matter, does it? You know, take it. But it's the thing is, the women don't need to do all that rubbish, you know, taking yeah. stuff, taking pills and that. And it's, it's awful to be taking. I, I don't know if I read this somewhere it's or somebody so said something to me. Do you think that, I don't know, I know it's not designed for women, but sometimes mm. talk about women who, who struggle to have orgasms, that if they take Viagra, it enhances more chance of, of having it. Have you ever heard about that? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard yeah. that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's I don't, I've never known women really take it that no. much, to be honest no, with you, but yeah. obviously guys, guys have took yeah. it. It does, it does definitely help. Hundred percent. I mean, do you think? But like, it's got worse now. Yeah, <laughs> right. So that, so like, right. So that's like, so before when you started doing nothing, then it's probably halfway through your career, it's coming in. It were coming in. What do you think's coming now since, or what you've heard? Well, I stuff? remember one one of the guys said to me, another a porn guy, and he says, "If I had to do what they do now, yeah, I would pack in. I would never do it." Right. And what they're doing now is the well, I, I, I know what they do, I don't know how it works because I've, I've been out of the scene, but yeah. I've heard that obviously they inject right. now and they inject in the penis to keep it hard. Now, what happens is, what inch we're about, you know, I'm not, I don't know, some of the side or whatever, yeah, I'm not geez, really sure. Crap. But what they do, sensitive part of your body, like that. do you know what's horrendous? Because some people I've heard they've got a hard on just walking around, even if they go and make a cup of tea or coffee yeah, it yeah. just doesn't go down and there were once one, uh, some, some guys have had to go to a hospital because it just won't go down and they have to have another injection for it to go down <laughs> can you imagine going to A&E uh, uh, yeah uh, I don't know if you recognise me but I've got a serious <laughs> big hard on I know how do I get rid of it it's probably pole vaulted in. <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean but, but you think to yourself like <laughs> you know and I don't I mean like we talked about yeah, this. Yeah, I find it. I find that just um, internet, how it's changed the industry. Inter Let's talk about that. Go on then. Right. So right, the <laughs> internet. So right, so 
Right, internet. So, like you say, you saying about these these clips and stuff. How did you make money from internet then? Now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what it was is when we was doing it, you could do a 15, 20 minute clip. You put it on. Uh, you put it on air. And on then, your own. Uh, personal on your website. own personal website. Yeah. Um, and then you have different credit card checkouts. So it's not just England. All over the world, yeah. they'll pay. And you can charge about um, probably thirty pound a month, yeah, yeah. or pay per clip yeah, if yeah. they're interested in that clip. And you could you could actually print money because in them days you you had to pay for yeah, they to were watch not, they adult movies. No, they they weren't porn. Now they weren't you porn or whatever there's, there's else. There's nobody making any money out of websites. No. It's, it's really gone down the swan. I know some people were earning fifteen grand a week. Yeah. And then, then, then it went down to two hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. Because everything's for free. Yeah. And I don't know what is now. What you could do? Maybe go back to more tamer stuff. Yeah, yeah. Maybe more. Yeah. You know, I mean, more, more realistic stuff yeah. without being too posed and too. Well, I mean, I think the one we talked about that fake taxi seems to be the one. Very I good. Don't very good. But yeah, it's just a simple you know, idea. That. Nice guy. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a, it's a simple idea yeah. that just. You know what I mean? So it's just it's finding the next yeah, taxi, yeah. isn't it? It, it? But then again, like you say, this one's going to rip that off, though. They do, they do. One. They put it all up on the free sites, but even if one percent join, then they make money still. Yeah. But it it, it it still makes money, but it's nothing like it used to be. It's nowhere near because used to be obviously there'd be interracial scenes, yeah, 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 and you never really see a black guy go with a a, a white woman, yeah, yeah, and it was a bit taboo then. You know, I mean. It bother me everybody's the same in my eyes you know yeah, yeah. but the thing is it was it used to be oh look the black guy going with a woman or four black guys taking on this woman wow now you can have 10 20 black guys on woman. it's just every, it's all been well, done well we're on the subject it's just sprung something from me tell us that story about when you went on that set in miami oh that one yeah, yeah. and you went mm-hmm. oh my Turned god yeah i did i did one scene once went to miami yeah. oh dear me it, it, it actually um yeah went on set yeah. And and there was I uh, started off with a girl and there was just this horrendous smell, and it was, I can feel it now. <laughs> it killed Is me. Is it like when people say like, please guys, I've talked to you. I, if, I, if, if they kick the window in, they get that smell well, of dead body, and well, you know it's yeah, like it was like, yeah, smell. that's what it was like. Yeah. It was like that, yeah. and even the cameraman was twenty yards away, and he went, "What's that smell?" And I, and I, and I thought, well, and I'm. <laughs> To, you know, <laughs> were they looking for a away. dead cat on the I don't, I don't know what it was yeah. so anyway I said I went down there and that was it and all of a sudden I was re- you know really hard and in two seconds flat, it, it was it was like acorn antiques it was that big <laughs> <laughs> and um, what did you have to keep temperature up in room so it was like knows if it would be no, cold no, that's Miami remember the oh, smell oh, of yeah. like yeah. Grimsby fish market mixed in with shit yeah, yeah. basically that's what it smelled like and heat outside so anyway yeah she, as she says i don't know what's the problem so she went and washed come back same thing yeah. well you know what happened you know what it was on, girl come back after two trips to the toilet so was this a straight boy and girl scene or? yeah it's just yeah. straight boy girl yeah. scene come back to the toilet with this with stockings the stockings involved there were no stockings because i don't like stockings <laughs> <laughs> so anyway came back to the toilet and she Not left what i've seen online she, she left she left a Tampax upper for about, I don't know, a month Jesus. and didn't know it was in there. So obviously she fished it out and by then my woolly were going nowhere. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a proper Yorkshire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I bet if I, if I uh, podcasted her, uh, what is it called? It's like Peter Kay saying Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I podcasted an American <clears throat> star, yeah. it won't say me Willie. Me yeah, Willie. Dodger. Big, big cock. Codger top. Yeah. yeah. Won't go nowhere. So, yeah. And and you know what? Yeah. I went for some steak and ribs that night and I could still smell it all over me. So I put me on. I'd be like scrubbing Scrubbing? I had about I had everything. I had about yeah. ten baths. I bet that got some took some getting over. I did because when I was on the plane, two weeks later I could still smell it on me. But but did but she, then did guess she, what did, guess what I food mean, wrong plane? She obviously <laughs> She said, Do you want a salmon sandwich? <laughs> and what? <laughs> I thought I can't eat one of them now, can I? And now I'm nearly going to physically be sick. Jesus. So I had to stop for four months. So, uh, what springs into my mind? I can't eat salmon from then. No, right? no yeah. I can't eat any fish. God for life. You're terrible. Yeah. Anybody says do you want sushi, I'm like, yeah. no, you're right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just 
Yeah, it's people like no, that. Is and, it going to help it? The girl, I mean, she should have known. But yeah, anything else? Things. I mean, what? Well, think about yeah. things that spring into your mind that that's like I don't know, maybe scarred you for or good memories or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's been lots. Of, there's been lots of good memories and that. I'd say people say, "Do you really? Did you really enjoy it?" Yeah. And I'd say probably, I'd say seventy percent. Did you get job no. satisfaction? Lee? Not really. No. Only about thirty percent. Only thirty percent. Yeah. So what was that job satisfaction where you came away and thought, well, oh, job satisfaction. I was attracted to her. There was that chemistry mm. between us, even on camera. Well, yeah, there, there yeah. is there is some scenes you do get it good, but it's all manufactured. Yeah. It's all stop, start, stop, start, yeah. make up time this. I mean, I've done scenes for four hours. Yeah. Stop, start, stop, start. And it, I just find it. And then there's guys come up to me in the that street and they think they can do what they're doing. I say, right, well, there's, you know, that bottle there. Yeah. You know. Get a hard on looking at that and cut and for four hours and come when I say it to come yeah. and they go it's not like that is it they see a twenty minute scene but they don't realise no. that how much is edited. Mm. Um, to to me now I think more that is going out the window and I just think more realism's coming in now mm. and you don't need to shoot for ages. Yeah. People watch a movie it's only last three minutes five minutes yeah. it's enough. Yeah. So with it like like so instance, you you've been doing the scene and stuff so off, after after. Were there times when, when like, we, we talked a little bit about when when somebody wanted to get into a relationship with you and, and, mm. and, and, and they're like, guys I've talked to say, oh, ask yeah. him, ask him this, did like, yeah, let's yeah, say yeah. you're shooting all day with a girl and, and you've got that. Bit of chemistry, yeah, maybe. And then yeah. maybe, I don't know, she phones you later on. Yeah. Says, Lee, what are you doing? Fancy a drink. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I want to, yeah. let's really have yeah, sex. Yeah, route ra- 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 cameras. Did you, get, did you get that? Yeah, I did get that. Yeah, yeah I did get that quite, yeah. quite a lot of times, I've yeah. got, got to admit. But um, like you say, I think if you're in that industry, it's very difficult to have a relationship. Yeah. I think for anybody, and people say, well, you could go with a girl who does the same as you. Do you know what? It's like army life, I'd say. It's a single man's life. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I know I'm, I mentioned army and adult, yeah. but army life, you're married to the army. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're married and, to the and, and then my, and porn, I think you're just yeah. best off being single, earn as much money as you can, and then take it from there and maybe but it's like put, certain, put your money into something else. It's like certain trades. If let's say you're uh, a plaster and you're plastering all week and then <clears> comes <throat> the weekend and the best mate rings you up and says, no, nah, I ain't, mm. pal. Any chance uh, that can come and plaster? Fuck off. I've been doing it all week. So the same with you. You've been shooting that all week. Yeah, and yeah, then, you can and get then, And then, I don't know, a girlfriend. I know what you're saying. Then she'll want to say. I don't believe yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Do you want to go out for a drink? And you think, fucking hell, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to have to have Can't sex. Yeah. yeah. So do, do you get in that situation? Yeah, well, absolutely. Because yeah. sometimes, obviously, after, if you're doing four scenes a week and, you know, sometimes you have to sit in bath for an hour because you're, yeah. you know, you're, you're nads down near your ankles. Somebody also <laughs> said to you, <laughs> ask him this, Go ask on. him this, what, what sort of things does he, because he's having sex all the time and you get that friction mm. and stuff. What, did you like, use anything to counteract that and stuff do you know what I mean yeah moisturisers or what I don't know I don't know you just I just think you'd say you just get in the bath and just soak and take your time because it's not the soreness it's just the it's it's like because obviously your balls have been full all the time and you keep going you keep going you keep going it's like when you do weight training you know you're pumping the muscle pumping the muscle and then they get achy and get tired. It's not as that like it's acid. sore. Yeah, yeah, that's the word. So it's not like it like to get Yeah, I'd say so. Because it gets achy and then sometimes you just you can't even touch it. I bet yeah, Google that. See if they get lactic acid in penis. I bet there is something there. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's so annoying. yeah, I mean so <laughs> Jesus, where do we start? I mean, again. So right, let's talk about life now. Yeah. So we talked <clears> about Lee, we're in Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah. And we've talked about porn. And yeah. everybody wants to hear about porn, but Lee's got a lot more things going off. So, yeah. he's been how, how long have you been retired? I've been retired now about 12 years. All right, okay. Yeah. So, also, Lee's, I'm just going to show this trip. This is one of his cars. He does photography now and everything yeah. and stuff. So, he's got a studio. Whereabouts is Yeah, he's based in Long Eaton in uh, Nottinghamshire. Yeah. Basically. And I've been there now, I'd say 12 years, 13 years. Yeah. Loads and loads of sets. Yeah. It's 3,000 square feet. So. And then I shoot from anything from fashion to boudoir to obviously celebrities, yeah, yeah. cage fighters, yeah. and um, obviously glamour. Yeah. And um, I always did portfolios for the 
babe station girls and things oh, yeah. like that. Yeah. So I do, I do a mixture of everything. Yeah, because you've got them <clears throat> contacts in that industry. Absolutely, so yeah. But obviously, you want people, and this is why we're doing this, because me and you talked mm. about this. I, I said to you, oh, yeah, I know a lot of people want to talk about porn, but there's a there's a, a other side to and everything, and mm. so we want to talk about that and stuff. But it must be hard, though, to get out of that. Do you know, not, not for I you. I know what you're saying. But like, you know, because people judge a book by its cover. Correct. And they come up to I you agree. and they think, hang on a minute, I know him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you must get recognised. Yeah. And then, and maybe they judge you because of what you've done. Well, it's not wrong with that because no. porn's big now. Of anyway. it is. And it's, when you it's were doing it, stuff. it was big, but it was more underground, wasn't it? Underground, yeah. Not, but, I, but, I, Matt, it's everywhere. Yeah, right, that's, that's, that's what I mean. Like I said, I did Amani, I did Barca, I did Great Britain, I've done all these... Um, <clears throat> you know bits and bobs of TV extras yeah. and stuff but if you say to, when he used to be out he yeah. used to say oh there's they don't say there's that guy over there who's done Armani there's that guy there who's done Boss right. they say that's that guy who does porn yeah. now to me you know because it's more interesting yeah, yeah. you know and because yeah. it's, it's fascinating it's that, guys. it's that life that people would like to yeah. a little bit yeah. of it's, it's more glamorous even though it isn't it's probably one of the yeah. worst least glamorous exactly, yeah. produ- professions out there yeah. when you're telling stories that you're yeah. telling you've been in it but yeah. everybody don't think they just see the finished product just the finished product but the thing is what, what I hate is and I, I'll know this in Spain and Italy you've got your big stars yeah. they class like film stars yeah yeah if you're in English and you've been doing it in England, you you just classed as whatever. You you're not a big star because yeah. it's taboo and all this stupid. Yeah. It's like okay, fine example. The the sex shows they used to have them on in uh, any scene in London. Yeah. Right. Um. The you know, awards and stuff like that. Yeah. The girls are not allowed to get the boobs out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And when all these people come in Barcelona, where they have the sex fair, yeah. live sex on stage. Yeah. Um, straight gay porn, porn, porn a lot you're watching up 40,000 people come in and that's the difference you yeah, see yeah. and it's like I was saying we, we mentioned yeah. Rocco and people yeah. such as that yeah. he does bed adverts yoghurt adverts yeah. does this does this just, does that oh, yeah. because he's he's, yeah, he's he just, does all, he, yeah but it's like I think the mentality there it's like in Spain when I went on holiday once with my ex-partner and a guy's walking down past me with his with his Todger out, whatever you want to call it, you know, Willie Todger, you know, yeah. a cock out walking around and nobody's bothered. You yeah. don't get arrested. No, no. So you think Brits are a little bit more, um, I'm trying to think of a word. Yeah, I can't, do, what's do you know the word, what you say? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> introvert about sex. And they don't, yeah. Yeah, they want to watch it, but they don't want nobody to know they watch it. Oh, I've had some things on my Facebooks. This, I put nice glamour girls on Facebook and women come back to me, oh, I don't like that don't like that oh look you know showing all the bits and stuff it's not bits it's in underwear yeah, it's yeah. classy pictures don't yeah. like that showing the bits and being all like this yeah. next minute I put a picture of a guy in his pants with abs and good body yeah. and the same woman's going oh what a hunk can't kick him out of bed yeah. uh, one minute she's been yeah yeah and I'm yeah. thinking what's that's like double yeah. <laughs> you know it's I'm just like, like and, and I, I think what it is with the English but, it, but like you say you see all these people and you see them on tally the MPs and that they're all into the dominatrix and the, yeah. the, 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 all this you know and um, they say they don't like it but then they all love it yeah anybody see my form just keep talking yeah because you've got to admit the um, industry and the escorting industry oh, it's the biggest thing okay. going Keep talking. I'm the just, biggest um, somebody sent me a question here to ask you and I thought it were because I've had a yeah. lot I've had a lot and most of them are like mm, stereotypical same down. old same yeah. old but I thought this one were really good um, where's his name anyway I'll find it okay, no. I could do with your glasses I'll have to put mine on to low don't mind anyway we'll talk about it so yeah, oh. let's talk about Eyes Wide Show. So obviously, well, let, let, let's just go back a little bit before I talk about this. So we've got, so obviously, where cricket started, let's, let's go back to cricket. Mm. Right. So you were at school, were this, this, you playing cricket at school? Yeah, I played uh, cricket for the school, I captained uh, the sides as well. Um, I even played two years above myself. Yeah. Um, started off when I was 13. Yeah. And I played for Derbyshire, yeah. and I scored my first ever hundred yeah. when I was thirteen against Cumbria. Yeah, yeah. And, um, it was a hundred and fourteen nut out, yeah. and I was thirteen. And my dad, sadly, passed away a couple of years ago. 
um, eight to two, my dad was, he has never missed one ball since I was 13 years old, right up to 42, I'm 46 now, yeah. and he's not missed one ball since, and he's been with me everywhere. Um, I got on the staff at um, Derbyshire County Cricket Club, oh. and I was a semi-pro with Dan, and I played yeah. to Derbyshire's second team. Yeah. And um, I know we're right, so we'll go back to, so because things spring into my head that yeah. I don't want to lose, so parents, yeah. what were their view when, you, and I'm going back to Paul, yeah, yeah. what were their view, that's it, interesting, people ask me, what did pa your parents think? Of, well obviously I played the cricket, and yeah. then um, what happened with the cricket is... Um, no, but I know that, but what I'm saying just, <clears throat> like, what did they, like, first time you told your yeah, mom yeah, or your yeah, dad... Yeah. Well, what or, or they find, how did they find out? Well, yeah, cricket. yeah, yeah. Well, it kind of leads on from the cricket, yeah. basically. Um, the cricket, I was, I, I, I didn't get pro, which I should have been, and I scored runs for MCC and yeah. stuff. So then I went into modelling. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously from the modelling, I went into. So the, what was that talking about, boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just catwalk yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I did catwalk, a catwalk uh, London Fashion Week. Oh, I did yeah. all the business and stuff, all yeah. the um, um, uh, magazines and stuff, and yeah. the flyers and stuff like yeah. that. And then obviously I went into the adult scene, yeah, yeah. and then that's when I'm coming back. Then, yeah. then the parents thing. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, I've been cricket to model, and I went into the adult scene. My dad was a bit of a character. Yeah. He had a Rolls Royce years ago, a roof rack on it, a bag of cemented bat, and his name upside B. Trenchor, electrical contractor. So he was very outgoing. Yeah. He was very there. And he said to me, uh, they used to say to my dad, "What do you think your son doing the adult movies?" He says, I'd bloody do it if I were younger. Oh. And he talks like that. He says, yeah. I'd bloody do it if I were younger. He said, I've always asked him, is there any chance I could sweep up? <laughs> he might have wanted to be a fluffer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he says, I'd do it. <laughs> and then he says to me, Mum, he, he says, all I do is I like sex watching it. He says, my mum won't stick up now, he says, because I'm diabetic and I can't get an order. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. But I think what it is, is because I'm a guy, yeah. It sounds it's wrong. A bit, a bit, I know it does, but, but it's, it's a bit it's, more. Well done. It's son. a bit more, and with the lads, you're a hero yeah, and yeah, you're a stud. Yeah. And if girls do it, they're no. a slap, a slag, and all this. I've heard it all, which is a terrible yeah. thing to say, yeah, and is. I don't like it, but that yeah. is the truth. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, what do you call it, isn't it? It's like you talk about things like that, and you just think that's how things were now. I think more now, people's accepting that more, aren't they? Yeah. That, well, my daughter's in porn, yeah, my yeah, daughter's. Yeah. Page three girl, I mean, look how that's changed. I've yeah. done away with that. Do, it's gone, I think it's that's ridiculous nuts. with the page three. It's I mean, that was brilliant. I mean, they didn't get a lot of money for the page no. three. Everybody thinks they got paid loads. Oh, yeah. Only 100 quid. Yeah. But it was publicity. Yeah. A bit like, you know, yeah. Katie Price and stuff like that because yeah. my ex obviously worked with Katie Price. Yeah. And, um, it's like, um, yeah, um, she was the face and, and then she did really well and she's done well since then. And so credit to her. But if it was now, a cater prize there won't be one because no. everything's turned now into reality TV yeah a lot of people came from that and then went on to other things absolutely like I said how many page free Linda Lustari Sam Fox no, but you're talking money, in the day yeah, yeah made money off of yeah, that yeah so like that, it kills that avenue yeah. now, doesn't it? Yeah. And I just think oh, they mate, should have that option, money. shouldn't they? It's certain women have Stupid said, "Yo, no, 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 let's ban page yeah. three, which is all right, fair enough. You got your. Well, what about the the dark girls or the yeah. grid girls for the for well, the I, I know uh, girl, racing? I know girls were doing that, and they said, "Oh, the boxing thing. I mean, I'm into the boxes. It's things. like yeah. they should have that option if they yeah. want to do it. The boxing rings, yeah, the grid girls yeah. and everything. Well, it was on even with." The, you know, the Piers Morgan show, he, he, he thought it was disgusting. Why shouldn't you have girls on? Why not have girls on? What's the diff... What, what's it, it... I mean, what's the world coming to? You know what I mean? It's... So, yeah, I mean... So, yeah, eyes wide shut. I mean, how many people can say they were involved in a Stanley Kubrick film? That's... that's Well, I'd say the... the some people would say they were in a Tom Cruise film, probably, yeah. but uh, oh, exactly. not with the... They like Cubert, yeah, exactly. You know because Q he's, a, a he's, God he's, a he's like the legend. He's like the well, I won't say Spielberg, but he was he was up there, wasn't yeah. he? So yeah, how oh, interesting from that we'll talk about. I mean, there's a lot of scandal behind that film. Well, yeah, not saying scandal, but there's a lot of rumours about this, that, and other yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know too much what actually went went off with it, but it was. You were right. It does take a lot of takes. Yeah, yeah. a lot of takes. Which must be. I've never known anything like it. If no. someone's coughs, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you've done you've done a take for ten minutes and he's coughing. He wants to do it again. Yeah, yeah, amazing. I mean, uh, 
or there might be a little window open at the side, a little curtain, and there'll be a light coming through. I remember yeah. this, yeah. and he says, "Cut, cut! Why is that? Why is that curtain come?" Yeah, you know. So yeah, you've got that. You've got that. You've got that speaking role, haven't you? Which got yeah. cut. So tell us about. It's that. a big shame that that got cut actually, yeah. because to be honest with you, I'd rather have had that role than actually the money. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. because that would have would well, it's something it now me. as well. You'd be yeah. more. It sounds. I'm not saying you're not proud of your porn and stuff. No, but that's more something you could show your daughter, isn't it? What I wanted say, Look to at do, that, like, because you know, as people say, I should do comedy. I should do this because obviously I do clips. You know, on my uh, on my studio yeah, yeah. about people in coming your in, Instagram and they that. say, yeah, I should have gone into films, and that's what yeah. I wanted to be. I wanted to be a film star. But what happened is, obviously, when the porn industry came in, it was like. Four hundred pounds, four hundred pounds, four hundred pounds, six hundred pounds a scene. Yeah. One big mistake I made. I should have had my own production. Yeah, I'm just going down, not going down. Uh, uh, that's all right, mate. Yeah, what are you after? <laughs> you want gin again? Drink, yeah. Yeah, can't have some that. Yeah. So yeah, um, that that's that's um, that's how it's um, all gone. You see, and that's what I want to do. I wanted to be more in the films because obviously yeah. I did extras. I did hustle. I did EastEnders, Coronation Street. I've done all little bits oh, and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, I mean, so, so yeah. Like, I mean, let's talk about future then. What's what's Lee and the future? Me in the future. Obviously, I've got my studio running. Yeah, that's doing really, really well. And um, I'm, you know, obviously doing a lot of portfolios and stuff and making their career. I think what it is is because I've been in the industry. You know, I was a fashion model. Yeah. I could, I've been there. Yeah, well, you've got that experience, and you Correct. know, and you're a good talk, and you know how to talk to people. Because it's like directing behind the camera. Absolutely, you've got to have that personality. Because if you aren't, they're like, oh, you've got to work the model, yeah. aren't you? There's a lot of ladies who come to my studio. They're absolutely scared to death because when a camera goes on. But I'm quite. I make them feel at ease. I hide the worst bits because they always moan about stomach or whatever, yeah. and show the best. Yeah, yeah. And I get the best out of them. Yeah. Have a bit of a laugh. You've got to get the confidence up to 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 reveal. Well, yeah, way, yeah, you know, to be yeah. on camera. That's what I mean. It's yeah. the same as you doing this yeah. interview now. Yeah. You know, it's it's relaxed. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's it's not. You just go with the flow. Yeah. You don't 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 be too manufactured. Yeah. And it's same with the I photography. Mean, just so I mean stuff like um, <clears throat> obviously you got have you got you got a family dot you've got is it one daughter you've got yeah I've got so, a, a, a girl um, yeah. Sophia yeah um, she's just eleven yeah yeah and um, she's obviously so, means a lot to me so uh, so okay, I mean we're getting really into it now so how I mean. Does I mean I know she's only eleven, but yeah, are you going to cope with the thing? Have you? That's you get, she's question. getting to that age, isn't she? That's a good question. I think the, the past. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree because. But then again, there's a lot of girls out there who do adult stuff. There's a lot of girls out oh, there yeah. who do escorting. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, guys. There's well, not a lot of guys who do porn actually. Yeah. But there's a lot of guys. So, it's not many. They'd, they'd actually, like to do. Porn. They'd like to do porn, and I think you know. It, it's very it's, it's it's an odd subject to talk about really because because yeah you're right in what you said but obviously because it's been twelve years there's no way you can take every video down of me no, there's no way you can get rid of it no. because it's just saturated but it's actually now I went to the NEC and I yeah. won um, I won the photographer one uh, I won an award for photographer of the year yeah exactly and um, to doing um, yeah. fashion photography yeah. and doing but I think you've got got to get it out there and sit down and talk about it. so that that well, I, yeah. I did that to put food on it the is. table correct yeah I mean I know a lot of girls out there who do escorting and stuff and you know people think it's been frowned upon or something but I, you know I'll tell you something like you've just said puts food on the table and what will the job if they charge 200 an hour or whatever or some charge a lot more what other job are you going to get what can get that type of money unless you're a dentist lawyer or something yeah. something good like that so that's what they break into a webcam in yeah, yeah. and that's got harder because thousands are doing it now and yeah. you know there's some good looking eastern european girls coming in they're yeah. doing it for a lot less it's money. all that it's all that isn't it it I mean. is and uh, but you know it, they're not doing anything legal yeah you know you're not doing anything bad yeah um i say it's all over 18s yeah and like you said, I, I, I tell you what I've noticed about you because you were old school, no, and a lot of things went on on. Well, I can imagine some stuff was well, some stuff on VHS. What went out yeah. there? VHS, Beat DVD. But the good thing about VHS and DVD, it gets lost. So when I Google you, only a little bit of your work comes up on the net. Yeah, because yeah, a lot yeah. of it. Is it's being lost. Correct. So that's correct. not a bad thing for you. No. For the few, you know, and I'm, yeah. not, I'm not saying you're bothered about it. I know you're not bothered no, about no. it. There's no to be bothered. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? Because 
But how things are going with the industry and sex and porn and everything, it's just <coughs> been even more accepted. So do you know in all the 20 years when you tell be on somebody... TV, yeah, ITV. When you tell somebody now. in 20 years' time, they're not even going to bat a frigging island. Well, to be honest with you, look at look at, look at, look at what's happening on like your Coronation Street and EastEnders. Obviously, there's 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 gay marriages now, yeah. and that was all taboo. Oh, yeah. If you was gay, or there's transsexuals. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, you know yeah. they've always wanted to be you know, yeah. a woman, and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, and the man for a woman, yeah. and and all this, and even now on TV, they see two guys kissing, mm. snogging each other. Mm. Yeah. You know, I, that card's full. I thought okay. it would be. <laughs> yeah. Keep going with that one then. Yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. that, bring that one over here. Just, just bring it over now. Do you want to put it on tripod? Mm -hmm. I don't. Do you want us out? Not, not too long. How long? Just give me a ballpark. Uh, five, ten. Okay, cool. We we'll just wrap it up then. Yeah. <laughs> just keep it there in your hand. Yeah. Yeah, go on then, we'll keep going. Go on, so then, yeah, so on. yeah, we're talking about all this transgender thing and everything yeah. else. Like, I mean, it's like I don't know, just. Just things have just gone a bit. I don't know. It's gone. It's, it's, gone, it's, it's, gone, gone. Crazy. it's, it's like the industry now. It's not like it was, and there's, it, it, everything's for free. Yeah. I don't know what you do anymore, but that's why. Even even the photography side, you know, the yeah. photography side. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, twenty years ago, yeah, my studio would have been a millionaire. Yeah. Right, because obviously there were not many mobile phones. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, people can take film a picture anything. and you can film, you can make your boobs bigger, you can make your waist slimmer, you can yeah. touch you, make your skin smooth. And if they need it on Instagram, all they need is a square piece. Mm. So that's it. Mm. So they put it on Instagram. Okay, if you want to build it big as a wall and you want to print it out, you need good yeah. photography. Well, now what's killing the photography industry is the mobile phones yeah, yeah. because you can do anything. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I've took pictures of my Great mobile it. phone and I made, I made a, on, on a nice meal out with a bottle of wine and took a yeah. picture and it looks fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And it couldn't get out of my studio. Let's just finish off. Tell us the story that I heard. I don't. You aren't told it, but I've heard off other people. Go on. When basically, I don't know if you're a rich, rich, famous guy offered to do with doing things to you for money. Oh, that, yeah. Because there's another question after that when you're talking, we'll finish <laughs> there, there, with that one. Yeah, there was, um, there was, there was a guy, you know what I mean, top fashion designer, basically. Right. And uh, he, uh, he, he was a big fan of mine from obviously the Dream Boy days yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Obviously, he's, he's and he'd a, seen all your other work. He's a gay work. guy. Seen me other work. He's been a fan of me, other yeah. work. You know, even gay guys watch straight guys perform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then he, he, he gave me an offer and he offered, um, I can't remember what it was now, I think it was uh, 150,000. to cash, go Cash. To go, <laughs> whatever he was doing, <laughs> yeah. yeah. To go away with him for a week in Bali. Okay. And um, he offered that, and uh, obviously... Did he know, get into details, what he wanted to... Yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah. But I just... I just couldn't. I earned the money then. I couldn't do anything yeah. like that. It's just a, well, you know, each their own. You so know, one hundred and fifty thousand. So if you'd have offered you five hundred thousand, because I know my price on on me. Tenner. Twelve quid. <laughs> no, no chance. <laughs> Listen, I want to make films. <laughs> If somebody offers me five hundred, you know what? Grand, I, I somebody always, offers me five hundred grand. It's changing gonna money. Make, yeah, yeah, it's going to make me fund my film that I really want to make. Yeah. Then I'm doing it for half a mil. Yeah, I'd I, say I, so. Yeah. I might. I'd know. I'd say three three hundred to three fifty. Well, I did ask one of your mates. But, did you? Uh, yeah, I did ask one of your mates, and he's 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 reasonably wealthy, but he did think about it. Yeah, yeah. When his wife says, "Go on, go on." Yeah. So go on then. What what's the price <laughs> on you there? But that uh, one's. But, uh, I don't know. I'd take that as it. I'm going to say I take that as it comes. Yeah. I can't really say that. Can I? So yeah. like obviously, <laughs> if you weren't earning the money then. Let's say money had dried up and you were still a younger and more. Yeah, uh, uh, well, we're doing your photography. Yeah, I think it's life changing money. It's a lot of Do money. You know what? Grand. It is. I think a lot of people would. And how long ago were this? As long as you don't film it and put it on the internet. Yeah, yeah. 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 150 grand. Yeah. How long ago? How long ago? That's a lot more money now. Two and a half, three, three years, I'd say. Oh, only oh, three years. So it's not as much then, is it? I thought, I thought this world. Well, it's not bad. bad, and then you. Oh, get... oh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, they won't. Nobody offer me one pound fifty for me. Like I'm just saying. You have to put yourself out there. But and yeah, advertise. but yeah, amazing. <laughs> so anyway, on that. So you were home. You tell me. I'd like to hear a comment. How much would, would you? You know what I mean? I think most books. You're talking <laughs> half a mil these days for something like that. It's, it's, it's just, if, if you're straight, 
for somebody to offer to, to sexually yeah. do things yeah. to you. Exactly. Do you, do you know what I mean? If I mean, like I say, I've got a, a lot of gay friends and, the, and yeah. I, I sold like calendars. I used to do calendars oh, yeah. and sold out of calendars with, yeah. with the gay guys. Yeah. And do you know what? I get it now every day on Facebook yeah. asking me to do stuff and asking yeah. would you just meet them and stuff. And, yeah. you know, to be honest with you, no matter what guy anybody straight guy says, it is kind of flattering. Yeah, of course it is. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you yeah. know, it's flattering. If, if a guy likes yeah. you, it's flattering. But I'm really nice to him. I yeah. just say to him, you know, I'm yeah. a straight guy, but thanks for the compliments. I'm yeah. very flattered. And uh, you, you ain't got enough money. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on that one, change <laughs> yes. hand. Yeah. No worries. And that's been amazing. It's been amazing. And this yeah. has wandered a lot, to be honest, because Lee's got a lot of stories about all sorts. And, oh, it could be a fun and, and maybe, maybe <laughs> we can get some uh, comments yeah. below to what we could talk yeah. about. And people might want to say, well, uh, push him on this subject, push him on that. Yeah. And, do you know what I mean? And, and because Lee can talk, I can talk, yeah. so he's going to be another guest. So Absolutely. Thanks. No, it was brilliant. No, thanks great again. great to meet you. Yeah. It was, uh, I enjoyed that. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Thanks. Cool.